Yes, we're back. Garth is here with me again. And uh, Garth, what are you talking about uh, this time? The weather, pocket weather. Always so, a good subject. Yeah, no, Shifty Jelly is the... Um, the makers? Well, the makers, that's the ones. <laughs> Developers, whatever you want to call them. Yep. And um, this is probably the best of the um, Australian weather apps, at least as far as I'm concerned. Right. Um, pocket Weather or Pocket Weather AU, they make a world version as well, I think. Um, the app's been out for quite a while. And just um, oh, a month or two, a couple of months ago now maybe, they released a new version of the app. Yep. Um, so that you had to buy it again, which as far as I'm concerned is totally fine, you know. This is an app that they've continually developed over the years. Yep. Um, and now it's time to give them a little bit more money so they can keep on continuing developing mm. it. So like we're not, when you say uh, they want more money, you're like... We're not talking truckloads. We're talking $2. Oh, yeah, God. It's going to break the bank. It's a whole dollar ninety nine. Yeah. So, so, you know, so how am I going to buy... Yeah, so people had coat? issues with this, did they? Well, there was a little bit of a backlash, as there tends to be when, you know, mm. when iOS owners are asked to spend money. Is it, like, is it like when you go from um, leopard to snow leopard and you've got to pay again? No yeah. One, no one likes doing that. No one likes doing no. it. But <laughs> for goodness sake, it's $2. $2, exactly. And it's a whole redesigned of, redesign of the app. Yep. Um, some fantastic new features in there. Yep. The one thing that I liked about the app that probably, I don't know if everyone would, but what I, the reason I liked it is it sends me push notifications. And now that's, of course, configurable. Anything from, what is it, morning, lunch and night, any combination of whichever ones you like. So it just sends you a push notification of what your weather forecast is going to be. Yep, um, nice. And for me, that's, that's as much interaction as I want with the weather. You know, I, don't, I never even open the app hardly. Now, tell um, me... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'll just when you finish, I've got a question. Go for it. I was just going to say now with uh, push notifications. Now, tell me if I if I'm wrong, but mm -hmm. and, and you might not even know, but I, I don't seem to get them on my Android phone. Is it something just is it's just peculiar to the iPhone, the iOS, of these the, these things, these push notifications? Um, I doubt it. I'm sure there's got to be an it has to be an equivalent in in the Android space, doesn't there? I don't get them. Not lo like they do on the I iOS devices. Like, yeah, you get the noise and you might get something just pop up in the, like the toolbar or the taskbar. Oh, that's the bar. same thing. But don't you, you get a, 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 isn't a push notification that pops up on the screen in a bit nice big box? It, you can have it do that or you can just have it as a little thing, thing in, the, in, thing the, in the, top. the top. Yeah, right. And so in the old days, it could only be the big box. Right. Um, but now you can choose what sort of notification you want. I like the big box. Well, yeah, and you can just, it's just a setting in, in at the iPhone level. So, um, so for example, for Haytel, when I get a push notification from Haytel, I want to know about it. I want to make sure it, it's on screen and that's I right. can't do anything else until I deal with yeah, that. That's right. But with some things like, for example, the weather, yeah, you maybe you don't really yeah. want a box that you have to interact with every time you get a push notification. Yeah, maybe. So, so you just, yeah, you, and you just set the setting as whichever one you want. But anyway, there, there's a free version and there's, al there's also a paid version? Or, the or free version may, yeah, I looked into that. The free version now may be the older version, which okay. in itself was a fantastic app anyway. No, well, this was um, updated, free version, updated 10th of August. Okay. Uh, uh, after four years and many updates, Pocket Weather Australia 3 is finally out. You should go and check it out. I, yeah, I don't know what, what, there's no in -app what the purchases. difference is. So go, go, um, go, and, go and check it out before you buy it and um, see if it's free or not. But in any case... Well, there is a free version there, obviously. Yeah. But and in any case, what's the yeah, it's, it's two bucks. It's a really good app. Yep. And but down the bottom, what are other people buying? There's no pro version there. So there's Pocket Weather Australia. Oh, there's Pocket Weather AU Lite and, and Pocket Weather Australia. Yep, $1.99. Yeah, well, that's, the, that's the pro one then. Yeah, the Pocket Weather Australia. Yeah, so it's probably... So just to give you a couple of screenshots here, Pocket Weather Australia. Um, yeah, got a couple of... A little bit more there. detail. You get hourly weather. Um, oh, and a, and a radar. Yeah, there's all the radar. There's all tide information in there. Yeah, um, nice. But for a dollar ninety nine, like, why not? Just yeah. why not? Why not? Anyway, weather per suburb. Yeah, good stuff. Great. But we but we like it and yeah. go and check it out. And uh, good stuff, Garth. And I, I I wish they continue on with the big box notifications because that's what I like. That's what you like. Well, they will. You just set the setting. Bye bye.